Welcome back to DSE's Interactive Learning Center. In this series, we will cover installation of the most popular CCTV cameras on the market. That includes bullet cameras, dome cameras, C-mount cameras, and we're even going to do some work with the pan tilt zoom motorized cameras. Installing CCTV cameras is simple and anyone can do it, but when it's done right, the cameras will actually give you a longer life expectancy, which saves you time and money. With us today is Chris Bash and one of our sales team members who has years of experience in sales, service, and installation. Welcome to DSC's Interactive Learning Center, Chris. Thanks, Gary. It's good to be here. Well, let's get started and see how we can install some of these cameras. All right, so what we're going to get started right now is how to mount bullet cameras without a cable management bracket and with a cable management bracket to a piece of sheetrock that you would find in a home or a small business. All right, so what we've done so far with this sheetrock is we've drilled some pilot holes to get the coax through. And as you can tell, it's not big enough to get that Siamese wire through there. Chris is going to actually bore out those holes with what's called a spade bit, and it's going to give us enough room to get the cable through there. Go ahead and give it a shot, Chris. So after you run the cable to the location, of course you're going to need some type of fish tape or glow rod to actually stick up through the hole and fetch that cable. And what we've got is set up here is there's nothing behind here. So Chris is just going to poke the wire through. An important thing to remember is do not terminate your cable before it's poked through the wall. It's much easier to fit just this little bit through than having all the connections as well. All right, what I have here is a bullet camera without the cable management bracket, which exposes your wire, but it does make it a little easier to install because I could easily come up here, mount it, and then make my connections. While Chris's camera is a little different, it actually features a cable management bracket. Chris, why would I want a cable management bracket? Well, you see, Gary, it actually hides and protects the wire. So that means somebody couldn't just come up and snip that wire because it's protected in the bracket. That's correct. That sounds like the way to go. Okay, so now it's time to mount this camera to the sheetrock. This, this camera weighs about three to four pounds, and that's pretty standard for your very focal cable management systems and even your armor domes. You do not just want to use a pair of sheetrock screws to hold up a four-pound camera because it might just fall out over time. Chris, what would you recommend? Well. Typically for drywall, you have a couple of different applications. Um, you can do a molly, which is a, it's a pretty sturdy, pretty heavy duty. It's got a couple spikes that hold into the wall, keep from spinning around. Um, once this flares out in the back, really no chance of it coming out without destroying the drywall. And those are pretty easy to install? Uh, not quite as easy as the easy anchor, okay. uh, which is probably why they call it the easy anchor. But simply enough, you use a screwdriver, you shove it into the drywall, spin it a few times, and it's done. Uh, your screw goes right in here. You can use a drywall screw, whatever and screw on the, comes with it. On the easy anchor, how much weight can each of those hold? Uh, each one of these pulling straight down, which is what the camera will end up doing, uh, about 35 pounds. Okay guys, so 35 pound anchors will surely hold a three to four pound camera. Let's go ahead and get these installed, see how it looks. All right, now that we have those installed, uh, we marked the holes, got the easy anchor installed, and this is what they're going to look like. And we're coming up to the final stretch now. Now we're ready to actually hang the camera. Chris, what do you say? I'm ready. All right. What we've got here is the connections will have to be made. Go ahead and plug those in for me. Okay, connections are made. We got the video BNC plugged in and the power uh, 2.1 millimeter plugged in and this is where it's important to make sure you have a big enough hole like we were talking about in the first part here. Let's go ahead and shove this on through, make sure everything fits and you want to make them go through one at a time. The nice thing about having this set up is we could work from both sides. In real life you can't do that. Alright Chris, let's go ahead and get those screwed in. All right, guys, there you have it, a installed CCTV camera with the cable management bracket. Not only does it hide the cables, hide the hole we made in the wall, but it also protects the cable from any type of vandalism. 